What's going on, everybody? Juice Bags here. I'm still alive. I know it's been a while. It's been uh, four or five days. I've had a uh, pretty ridiculous work week, but I wanted to get back in to some more tower defense. And I have dabbled around a little bit on this map, Deadly Canyon. Now, uh, you see, I was able to complete it with uh, just one star, which is pretty weak. Right, so uh, a couple of the cool things, as I was mentioning, is this map is really difficult at first. It becomes much easier once you learn a couple of little tricks, but it is definitely a pain in the rear at the beginning. Let's go ahead and uh, get set up like so. We're just, the first couple of waves come out of this side. So we're just gonna let them filter right on up through here and hopefully get wrecked promptly wrecked. Now uh, another cool thing about this map is uh, really the introduction of the lasers. This is the first map where uh, the lasers can can become a huge asset for you. As uh, some of the mob types in this map, like these guys right here, the lasers just chew up and the guns and, and uh, the flamer and everything just don't quite do the job. I want to get another laser in. Then the lasers look cool, especially once you once I get them upgraded. Shoot out their little little pew pew beams. Yes, these guys are getting mowed down. Now you see these bigger guys. The laser is just chewing them up. Let's see, that calls for more lasers. Right now, we do have quite the air assault on this one. In fact, there it comes, the beginning of it right now. Uh, the factory guns that you get help you out quite a bit there. And then you get this uh, free 180 resources down here from uh, that guy. Let's see, let's go laser there. Be, actually I didn't need to bust it out yet there would be one of the cool tricks is uh, you get to do a little juggling on this map and that is by throwing a barricade right here you switch the path to come around and bust through this side so uh, a little juggle there definitely uh, becomes quite helpful one of these guys get wrecked enough for me to get 125 now you end up you know of course you don't get the resources back from the barricades once you sell them but it does become quite the lifesaver there let me go ahead and throw another bit of anti-air up here just so I'm, make sure I'm prepared and one of the things you want to do really as soon as you can is start getting these lasers upgraded. Yeah, those guys looked like they were a little too close for comfort there. So as you see, I've already used about 100 resources. Now you do have to sell them. Um, you need to give these guys plenty of time. Let's see, I think I'm going to go with, uh, go with some fire there. And uh, maybe we can start working on our barricading setup down here, which is basically just going to be completely blocking off this side. That's going to force everything to come up this way. Get our last few stragglers in. I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, I can throw a melee tower there real quick. And just keep an eye on that because these guys will start to push. And uh, make sure you're in a position where um, where you can plop that bad boy down whenever you need to. A little juggling's always fun, though. See, now I want one more flamer here. Make sure we're getting some nice AOE damage on them. 
And then I think I might put a laser here. Yeah, let's go for it. A little laser action. Now, you don't want to uh, neglect your uh, anti-air as it is crucial. So make sure you keep getting the anti-air put in. And then you want to upgrade it once you get uh, a little little bit of an abundance. So am I going to need one here? I think these guys are going to get chewed up. You know what? Let me upgrade this flamer here first. You really want to get everything inside here upgraded as quickly as possible as I sure primary kill zone there. So a couple of these guys may push. Looks like the lasers are getting it done. Now they're definitely coming in. Hot and heavy. Almost enough to upgrade that one, but not quite. See, now my uh, little front guard is gone. So I cannot let those guys get up there because they're gonna, they'll start bashing on uh, this laser here and I don't want it going down. Let's see, we got enough? I spent it. Need 30 more. Looks like these guys will get chewed up quickly though. So let's get this laser boosted as well. Uh-oh. Gonna have to use the old bomb. My anti-air did not hold up. Come on, bomb drop! Oh, god, the delay on that thing is ridiculous. It takes way too long. Let's see, let's get these guys upgraded. I can't slack on my anti-air, or I'm gonna have issues like that. See, I lost 83% of my core, and had to use a nether bomb and a or an ether bomb, excuse me, in a pretty worthless fashion. But it's wave 39 now. And this is really where it where it heats up. Ideally, you get all, you have all this stuff upgraded a little bit further by this point, but you know, as you see, we just I just wasn't able to get it done. These guys are probably going to give a little push. See, I want to sell this thing right away as soon as the heat gets let off because I don't want these guys going up and if, if they have to bash through one of these towers then you have a dead spot there and that's clearly no good let's see let's get some full upgrades going here Lasers are mean. Very mean. I'm going to go ahead and fill these anti air spots. The uh, little drug juggling trick on this map definitely makes things uh, substantially easier. And in fact, these guys really do push. I know it looks real easy. I'm sure some people uh, were able to go through this one no problem. But this one gave me quite a few attempts. I, um, I had massive issues with this one. Let's see, I think I got everything up here upgraded now. Throw another upgrade down there on the anti-air. Wave 47 now, we're getting really close. You could even, just for good measure, like maybe throw a flamer or something in here since they all have to come through this way. In fact, I'll double flame it there. Everything's dead right at the moment. One more anti-air upgrade just to close the deal there. I lost some core. I, uh, I really didn't want to lose any of my core like that, but it is what it is. Wave 50 now, so this is the boss. I believe it's a flyer, but I'm, I'm assuming this anti-air is going to just wreck his face. Got quite a bit there now. 
Yeah, here they come now. They're getting smoked. Come on now. Don't forget that one. Oh yeah. Boss man down. So anyway, that uh that was a fun map. It um it was challenging. Which uh after my first few attempts and my first few thoughts on a strategy on that map made me realize that uh, there could be more to this game than I originally thought. It was nice, very nice getting the challenge like that. But anyway, there we go. There's a little bit more tower defense with Defense Technica. Thanks for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe. And that was Deadly Canyon 2. Gonna have Underground City coming up soon. Thanks again.